Welcome. I'm Warno Deschalette, and this is A Baha'i Perspective. Welcome to A Baha'i Perspective. I recorded an interview with Felipe Duarte on December 28, 2021. Felipe is a guitarist, composer, and musical producer living in Santiago, Chile. Primarily an improvisational musician, his style is influenced by jazz, Latin American music, and rock. He's recorded as a guitarist on 10 CDs and 2 DVDs of live performances, and has worked as a producer on 7 CDs to date. We play six compositions by Felipe that feature his guitar playing in the interview. I started the interview by asking Felipe where he grew up and what was religious life like growing up. I grew up in Santiago, Chile, which is the capital of Chile, and I'm still living here. Well, this is a very big city. It has maybe more than six million people living here. I grew up in a Baha'i family. It was a diverse community and it's been growing for the past decades. In terms of my religious and spiritual life, it's always been my personal development and investigation of religion and what spiritual life means and what the Baha'i faith teaches us. And then also the community life in terms of the Baha'i community, but also serving others, serving humankind. For me growing up as a Baha'i has been always both things, like the interior, personal, spiritual life, and trying to develop these spiritual qualities, but at the same time, be engaged in social action, social transformation, and building communities. Felipe, how did your family become Baha'i? The first uh, Baha'i in my family was my grandmother in uh, the 1940s. She was one of the first Baha'is in Chile and uh, was part of one of the first communities, Baha'i communities in Chile, where she lived, which was at the extreme south of the country in a city called Punta Arenas. She met a Baha'i woman that was from the United States that was traveling through Chile and other countries in South America. And she was uh, meeting people and uh, sharing the Baha'i teachings. So my grandmother heard about this lady that was passing by in the city and was very interested in meeting her. And that's how she first knew about the Baha'i faith. Then she met other Baha'is that also were traveling through Chile. And uh, she eventually became Baha'i and started participating in the community. And then it, it was, of course, a very new Baha'i community. And um, eventually she moved to Santiago as well. And then my mother was born in a Baha'i family. My grandfather was not a Baha'i, but they always had a spiritual upbringing. And so through my mom, that's how I knew about the Baha'i faith. And of course, through my grandmother. Yeah, that's how I started investigating on my own. Of course, I was also raised uh, with the Baha'i teachings and uh, eventually formally became a Baha'i when I was a youth. But I consider myself a Baha'i since I'm a child, I guess, all my life. <laughs> And your father as well, did he become a Baha'i? Or... Yes, my dad, he did not come from a Baha'i family or didn't know about the Baha'i faith until he met my mother and other Baha'is. And he started investigating the Baha'i faith and became a Baha'i and then married my mom. So, Felipe, you're a guitarist and a composer and you produce music. When did music become your focus in life? So I don't think it was a conscious decision to become, you know, a musician until I was maybe in high school, but it's always been a focus. 
in my life. It's always been a very central part of my life because, well, we grew up listening to a lot of music. My parents love music. I have two older brothers as well who love music. My older brothers like to play guitar and bass and you know other instruments, but mainly guitar and bass. I was always very interested in mainly guitar. I also played a little bit of piano when I was growing up, but I learned you know my first chords and first songs from my brothers, and then I just started to get more and more into guitar and then electric guitar. And by the time I was in high school, it was just the natural direction in my life to become a musician. Uh, even though I like a lot of other things as well, I had a lot of other interests, mainly in, in social studies and the arts. But I felt that music and particularly guitar and composing and I felt really comfortable where I could develop something and hopefully contribute as well to the community. So Felipe, we're going to feature musical pieces that you selected to be featured on this interview. So why don't you tell us the title of the first piece and why you selected this piece? So the first tune we're going to listen to is called Raices, which means roots in Spanish and it's an instrumental tune that I wrote for my first album. It came from the fusion of some rhythms and styles from South America, having the electric guitar and other influences. It came up naturally as as what we would say a fusion of jazz and Latin American styles and rhythms. I chose this piece because it's the first tune from my album, and also it's a tune that a lot of people enjoy listening to live. So I wanted to show show you how this tune goes. And what caused you to name it Roots, or Raices in uh, Spanish? Well, it has some African influence because of the mixture of African music that came to South America, of course. It's also mixed with some indigenous music from South America because uh, the styles of music in South America are really mixed between those three influences, the Africa, the local, the indigenous rhythms and music, and also European. So in a way, those are my roots as a Chilean here all that mixture, and uh, I felt it was representative of that feeling that I got when I listened and played the tune. So this is Raices, which means roots in English.
We're listening to the music of Felipe Duarte, a Chilean guitarist, composer, and producer living in Santiago, Chile. The next piece you selected is called Como Tu. Why did you select this piece? This piece is from a band that I'm part of, which is called Arrayanes, with two friends that live in Chile. We are Baha'is, the three of us are Baha'is, and we've been making music for over 10 years. We share this deep connection, not only because of, of our faith and what we've done together and worked together and served together in different projects, but also sharing this musical link and this bond, I mean, this musical bond is, is very special to me. And uh, this tune is part of our album, our only album so far. It's a tune that is referring to a very important figure in the Baha'i faith who is called Abdul Baha. It's a tune that talks about the qualities of Abdul Baha and how we strive to follow his steps and develop these qualities. So this is Como Tu. Cielo azul 
Listening to the music of Felipe Duarte, a Chilean guitarist, composer, and producer living in Santiago, Chile, and we just listened to a piece called Como Tu, which was a recording by not only Felipe but other members of, of a band called Arianas. I had interviewed Eduardo Rioseco about the music of Arianas that we featured. You mentioned that the song reflects the qualities of a, a central figure of the Baha'i faith, Abdul Baha. Maybe you could, for the sake of our listening audience, just a brief idea of this historical figure in the Baha'i faith. Abdul Baha is the son of the prophet founder of the Baha'i faith, who's called Baha'u'llah. He's a very important figure in the Baha'i faith because. Baha'u'llah entrusted him with uh, the guidance and the leadership of the Baha'i community before he passed. Abdul Baha is responsible for applying Baha'u'llah's teachings to the growth of of the Baha'i faith and guiding the community to be able to grow and expand throughout the world. He is the example of Baha'u'llah's teachings is the person that we refer to as our, our perfect example of how we should live a Baha'i life. So, Felipe, the next piece you selected is Alma. And am I pronouncing that right? Alma. Alma. Yeah. Tell us about this piece. Alma is a word that means soul in Spanish. This was one of the tunes that I wrote at the time that I met my wife. It was a tune that I was developing that also has influence of South American rhythms with jazz, mixed with jazz. It's what I would call a kind of a simple tune, but it's a fun tune to play and to improvise over. I dedicate this tune to my wife. That's why it's also an important piece of music for me. So this is Alma. Thank you. 
We're listening to the music of Felipe Duarte, a Chilean guitarist, composer, and producer living in Santiago, Chile. And we had just listened to a piece he produced called Alma. The next piece you selected is Eternidad. Tell us about this piece. Eternidad is a piece that we recorded with uh, my band Arrayanes. It means eternity. It's a piece that I love playing and also listening to. We did a very minimalistic arrangement. It's just a couple of guitars and vocals. We chose that because it's a very intimate piece. The lyrics refer to Baha'u'llah, who is the, the prophet founder of the Baha'i faith. It's a love piece, basically. It also has a lot of meaning to me because we we like to listen to it with my kids it really calms them down and they enjoy the melodies and they enjoy a lot the voice of carlos who is singing in this tune so this is eternidad Yeah. 
sin saberlo me llevan a ti Un amor tan grande como el mar Despertó mi ser de eternidad Todos los caminos que recorrí We're listening to the music of Felipe Duarte, a Chilean guitarist, composer, and producer living in Santiago, Chile. And we had just listened to his piece entitled Eternidad. Felipe, what's the next piece you have for us? The next piece is called Huerquehue, and it's an instrumental piece that I wrote. The inspiration from the music came while I was in the south of Chile, camping at a national park that is called Huerquehue. And uh, Huerquehue is a word in Mapudungun, which is the language of the Mapuche people who live in that region of the country. And it means place of messengers. And this park is a really, really beautiful place. It has beautiful lakes and uh, mountains and forests around it. To me, it it's a very spiritual place. I've been there several times. This music came up while I was staying there and then uh, I decided to develop the music and compose the, the whole piece uh, when I was back in Santiago. So I chose that name for the tune because it's where I was inspired to write it. It's part of my first album, which features a quintet with a tenor sax, double bass, drums, piano, and me on electric guitar.
We're listening to the music of Felipe Duarte, a Chilean guitarist, composer, and producer living in Santiago, Chile. We have one piece more that you selected for us. What is the title of this piece, and what should we be listening for? This last tune is called Oceano. It means ocean in Spanish. It's going to be part of my new album. This recording is from a live session that is posted on my YouTube channel. And we just recorded it again for my new album that will be released soon. A couple of singles will be coming out in the following weeks and months, and the album will be out in the first months of next year. I love this tune. I love to play live with the quintet. I feel it showcases the talent of the band. And I enjoy playing with, with these musicians so much that I wanted to choose this, this tune for the end because I think it, it shows what we've achieved together also as a quintet playing together. Do you want to do a shout out on those who played on this piece? Yes. So the recording that you're going to listen to of Oceano has Agustin Moya on tenor sax, Oscar Pizarro on piano, Milton Russell on double bass and Gustavo Diaz on the drums, myself on electric guitar.
We've been listening to the music of Felipe Duarte, a Chilean guitarist, composer, and producer living in Santiago, Chile. So, Felipe, I want to thank you so much for sharing your music with us. Thank you. Thank you, Warren, for the invitation. And it's been a pleasure to be part of this program. And I hope people enjoy this music. I hope you enjoyed that interview with Felipe Duarte, guitarist, composer, and musical producer living in Santiago, Chile. You can find his work at FelipeDuarte.com. That's F-E-L-I-P-E-D-U-H-A-R-T dot com. You can find this interview and other interviews on the website abahaiperspective.com and on the YouTube channel A Baha'i Perspective. You can also find the podcast on Spotify and iTunes. For information specifically on the Baha'i faith, you can go to the website baha'i.org or you can call the number 1-800-22-UNITE. I hope you join me next time on a Baha'i Perspective.